So I recently had a patron reach out because he was struggling to map out the city of Manila in the Philippines. He sent me this reference image showing me specifically all of the admin areas that he wanted to map out. And then he sent me a few screenshots of the data that he was getting instead of geo layers, which was definitely not what he wanted. I'm gonna jump into After Effects here and show you the best way to go about this. So I already have a Geo Layers 3 project set up inside of Adobe After Effects here. We're over the Philippines. Now I imagine what he did based on his screenshot that he sent was he came in here to the search, this keyword search bar, and did a keyword search for the city of Manila. Now there's two main data sources that GeoLayers uses. You have natural earth data and you have open street map. So this nominatum here is open street map. So if I just grab Metro Manila and add it to the browser, and I can search it again just to show you the open street map data as well. This is what he did was he downloaded both of these. If you double click on one, it's gonna zoom in there. So this is definitely not what we want. It's a simple feature showing us the region here and even the open street map one kind of is the same thing, but with the maritime borders here extending out into the water. And if you look at the, these are a little bit different. So you gotta be careful and you gotta be aware of the fact that open street map data is generally a little bit more accurate and precise than natural earth data. The only difference is that natural earth data is much easier to work with inside of GeoLayers. But how do we go about finding all these specific admin areas that he's looking for in Manila? Well, the best way to go about this is to, instead of searching for the city, search for the country. And this is gonna give you a bunch of different data sets here. Here we have the actual boundary of the country, you have the inner boundaries, and then right here you have an actual data set collection for states and provinces. So I'm gonna add this to the browser, and this is from Natural Earth. And if you zoom in, or if you zoom out here, you're gonna see it's for the entire country. But if we zoom back into Manila, you can indeed see now we have these regions that we're looking for. Now what we need to do is basically filter these out by just the regions that are in Manila. I don't wanna draw out all these vector shapes of everything, that would be a waste. So if I open up the collection here, you can see all of these features. First, what you can do is click on feature properties and you can just sort these features by name to clean them up a little bit. But what I wanna do is I wanna find some kind of attribute in the map data that I can use to filter these out. So I'm gonna go grab one feature that I know is in the Manila region, which is this one right here. And if I just look at the feature properties, I can scroll through the different properties and attributes here and find an attribute that I can use to filter out all of these features. Well, here we have region, and I know I can definitely filter these out by region because it says right here, national capital region. This is exactly what we want. I essentially just need to paste this into the filter bar and then have it filter out. So the way you do this is if you click on the word region, it's gonna copy it. And just remember what it says here, national capital region. And when you filter these out, you have to be extremely accurate because if you get one letter off, if you don't capitalize something, if you have a space in the wrong area, it's not gonna work. So to filter, you go back here and there's a little filter area. So I can paste that word region and then you need to do the equal sign and then type in the name of the attribute here, which was national, national capital region, hit enter, and then go back down to the feature collection and you'll see if I grab all of them, let's see what it did. Okay, it indeed grabbed all of these, which hopefully is all he wanted. So now with these selected, I'm gonna grab a layer style real quick just to see this, and we can draw these out. And now we have some cool map features. This is just like some line borders here. And there you go, you have some admin boundaries. Once again, as I mentioned before, the OpenStreetMap data is a little more detailed, but the problem is when you're working with OpenStreetMap data in After Effects, it's just a little more messy, and it takes a little bit more time to get all of the data organized. So let me show you what I'm talking about specifically. You saw how easy it was to just download that Natural Earth data set feature. There's another way to download that actually. You can come over here, and you can do Add Features to Browser, and you just say Download Features, and then right here, you can do states and provinces for every country in the world. That gives you a lot of map features that you have to filter through. So instead of that, I use the keyword search to just filter out Philippines. But if you scroll all the way down to the bottom, you can see right here, you actually have OpenStreetMap. These two different ones are from OpenStreetMap. You can see it right here. All the rest of these data sets are from Natural Earth. But this one right here, it's specifically 
focusing on admin boundaries. Now be aware that this is based on the current view, which includes the zoom level. So if you're a certain zoom level out, if you're zoomed out really far and you see the entire country, it's probably not gonna give you those features when you go to download them. You have to zoom in so that it actually knows to query more detail or those more detailed features. So if you're too zoomed out, it won't even give you, it'll basically just give you the country feature, and I think that's it. So if I'm zoomed in, it's gonna give us the various, um, the various admin boundaries based on that. So I'm happy with the current map view because I already drew these out, but I wanna compare the open street map. So now if I go back and actually download these, just click on this, it'll take just a minute there. So now we have this feature collection called admin boundaries. If you open this up, now you can see the different rank here or scale ranks and as you click on these you can see they're going to get a little more and more detailed so here we have some see if they have names here okay we have the manila district capital district so as i said you can definitely get more detail but it's just a little bit more of a mess that you have to filter through and clean up here but let me just give you a quick example of the difference in detail so if i grab this same one this is the open street map version and if I just draw this out and then let's say let's let's change the color to red you're gonna see how far off this is from the natural earth data which is quite significant so be aware of this I mean that um, that's pretty significant okay I hope you learned something and enjoyed this tutorial if you want to see more tutorials like this be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you're updated anytime I upload new content. If you're a huge map fan, be sure to go check out my Patreon page as well as my GeoLayers 3 Masterclass. <laughs> Big shout out to my tier 3 patrons, Tyson the Keymaster, Mike and Sandra over on YouTube at Flumi Plus One, Ryan, Josh, and He Who Seeks. Thank you all so much for making this video possible.